All right, so let's look at inverse trig functions. Uh, this is going to be several videos. These are the these are the examples that I'm going to work. Uh, you can see there's part one, part two, part three, and part four. There'll be I'll have four videos, uh, and each part will have its own video. I just decided to do it like that so the so I wouldn't have just one big long video. Now for this for inverse trig functions we've got to look at this arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent and so on. Okay. And the arc arc sine is you, you've got to understand that the range uh, is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 or if you're in degrees negative 90 to 90 degrees and for cosine it's 0 to pi or 0 to 180 if you're in degrees for tangent negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 or negative 90 to 90 degrees if you're in degrees and then for cotangent it's 0 to pi or 0 to 180 and for uh, arc secant that's 0 to pi over 2 or pi over 2 to pi or 0 to 90 or 90 to 180 okay and for arc cosecant that'd be negative pi over 2 to 0 or 0 to pi over 2 or negative 90 to 0 or 0 to 90 okay so so basically the the secant it's it's like the cosine see 0 to pi but the reason that it's split up like this is because uh, it's because we can't be at pi over 2 okay because the the cosines remember, remember secant is 1 over cosine and cosine of pi over 2 is 0 so that would have a uh, that would give us a zero in the denominator. That's why we're leaving out the pi over two. And the same thing here. This is why we're leaving out the zero for the arc, arcs cosecant. Okay. So you've just, you've got to know these right here. All right. And then you need to know this, all the special angles. Okay. So you can look at those and and you just need to memorize them. Okay. Try to try to learn them without you know d don't try to memorize the unit circle just know these and then and you'll do so much better you know with the with trig if you can just memorize these basic ones 30 45 and 60 degrees of sine cosine and tangent okay so let's go ahead and get started all right so let's look at part two on uh, inverse trig functions uh, so if if you haven't seen part one I would recommend going back and watching part one because actually if you can do part one then part two is a piece of cake because we're actually doing part one we just got to do one step bef we got to do one step and then we go straight to what we did up here in part one so I would recommend watching that one also all right so inverse cosecant all right, so we got the inverse cosecant of 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now, what you do is you actually just change this to inverse sine. So we can, we can actually say that inverse cosecant of 2 square root of 3 over 3 is equal to inverse sine of 3 over 2 square root of 3. Okay? It's just... Remember, cosecant and sine, they're reciprocals of each other, okay? And so now, if we rationalize the denominator, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let me move, well, let's just leave it there. So we'd what? We would multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3 to rationalize. So that's going to be the inverse sine of, that's going to be 3 square root of 3 over that's 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. And you can see the 3's cancel. 
So that's actually just the inverse sine of square root of 3 over 2. Okay. And now, well, the sine of what is square root of 3 over 2? Well, that's the... Oh, let me change colors. That's just what? 60 degrees okay or if we put it in radians we could say what pi over 3 radians okay and this is your answer if your teacher wants it in radians you'll put it in radians all right so what about this one inverse cosecant of negative one half well remember cosecant and sine are reciprocals so I would say the inverse sine of negative one-half okay all right so remember from the first of the video inverse sine is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 or you could say negative 90 to 90 all right well the inverse sine of one-half is what 30 degrees and look since it's negative one-half we're down here in the fourth quadrant so that's going to be negative 30 degrees. And so there's your answer. Or if you want to put it in radians, negative pi over 6. Okay. All right. Let's go to secant. All right. So remember, secant and cosine are reciprocals. So this would be the inverse cosine of 1 over square root of 2. And then if I rationalize the denominator, that would be inverse cosine, and I multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 2 over square root of 2. That's what? Square root of 2 over 2. Okay. And then the cosine of what is square root of 2 over 2? Well, that's 45 degrees. Or if we wanted in radians, we would have what? Pi over 4. All right. So what about the next one? Well, that's going to be what? Inverse cosine of negative one-half. Okay. All right. Now, this one, you got to be a little more careful. Okay. We can't do it like we did the sine up here. Remember, cos inverse cosine is from zero to pi. So that's, that's this. Zero pi over two pi. Or you could... If you looked at it in degrees, 90 degrees, whoop, 180 degrees, okay? So it's negative, so that means we're over here in the second quadrant, okay? Because we're with cosine, all right? Remember, inverse cosine is in the first and second quadrant. And since it's negative, remember cosine is positive in the first and negative in the second. All right, well, what's the inverse cosine of one-half? That's what, 60 degrees? That, what, what we just found there, is called our reference angle. Remember the reference angles? And so now, to get our angle here, well, that's what? That's 180 minus 60 degrees, which is 120. So our answer would be... 120 degrees or if you put this in radians that would be whoop, that would be what 120 pi over 180 so that would be what 2 pi over 3 if we put it in radians all right all right now let's look at the next one for inverse cotangent well that's what that's going to be inverse tangent of 1 over square root of 3 which would be inverse tangent erase that if I rationalize denominator multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 3 over square root of 3 that gives me square root of 3 over 3. All right. And remember, tangent is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 or negative 90 to 
90 okay but keep in mind there that is tangent okay that's for tangent we're dealing with cotangent keep this in mind it's not going to come into play on this one but it will come into play on this one cotangent is from 0 to pi okay so like I said it's not going to make a difference here but it will make a difference on this next one all right so the tangent of what is square root of 3 over 3 well that's what 30 degrees and so if we put that in radians that would be what uh, pi over 6 all right now let's look at this next one so this is the inverse tangent of uh, 1 over negative 1 which is the inverse tangent of negative 1 all right so if we were doing tangent tangents between negative 90 and 90 so the tangent of what is 1 45 so then we say negative 45 and that would be incorrect okay because yes tangent is from 90 degrees to negative 90 tangents here and here or if you want to look at it pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 but tangent is from 0 to pi and that would be pi over 2 or 0 and we could look at this as 90 degrees and 180 okay so well let's look at this the inverse tangent of 1 is 45 degrees 45 degrees that will be my reference angle just like we did up here with uh, where is it with this secant when we got the 120 here same thing because remember it's negative cotangent is negative in the third quadrant I'm sorry is negative in the second quadrant okay and so now we need to find theta so theta is 180 minus 45 which that is 135 degrees okay and so this would be 135 degrees all right uh, now if you wanted to put this in radians that would be 135 pi over 180 so 135 over 180 that would actually reduce to 3 pi over 4 and there's your answer in degrees there's your answer in radians all right so like I said this is broken up into four parts you can see just this part we're at 10 minutes already uh, I would encourage you to watch every one of them okay all right so and, and and I may come back and do some more videos like do one video on just sine one video on just cosine one only on tangent you know just like that so thanks for watching check out my other videos and give me a like share and subscribe and see you later